Okay. We're back. We're doing another Slubin video. I've and seen that. this time, this time we're gonna do a helicopter. So this set looks kind of good. Reminds me a little bit of the airplane set. It has the newer guys in it where the, the heads like tilt a little bit. And uh, we'll take this guy apart. We'll put them together, see how he goes. Because I'm a handle. If you're not familiar with uh, these Slubin sets, they're kind of like Legos. They're compatible with Legos. They're awesome. I'd say they're probably 80 or 90% of the quality of Legos. They're not quite 100% there, but they're very good and they're quite a bit cheaper. So I think they're a great, uh, they're just a great deal, a good bang for the buck. So um, anyway, we'll, we'll put this guy together. You can see firsthand what it's about and uh, how they work. And um, we'll see how it goes. All right, we're back. Uh, we had a little bit of a crisis there with putting the guys together. We couldn't find uh, we couldn't find some of the pieces. Uh, this guy's pants were white, and they got lost in with the white blocks, and the hat got lost in with the black box. But but anyway, we found them now. So these guys, um, these are a lot like Lego guys. Let's skip it. The uh, the little feet there have holes in them. Uh, maybe the white pants guy would be a little easier to see. Um, the little feet there have holes. The back butt there apart has a place to sit down and click in. Um, these guys are a little bit different than Lego guys. Um, these newer Slubin ones, they kind of added this feature where the head kind of tilts a little bit. Um, they call attention to it on the, on the box. I, I don't know. I barely even see it. The little hands here, I don't know if you can see that, but they're like on little ball joints. So they can be positioned a little bit more than regular Lego guys, which I guess is kind of neat, but um, I don't know. I don't think it's a big difference at the end of the day. These guys are a little difficult to assemble. Um, the way they make the heads pivot is they put the neck on the end of this little like um, ball. So there's this, I don't know, this little thing I call a spine, this little block here. The way this works is you jam this up in through the body and then once it's in through the body, the bottom of it snaps into the um, that little peg there. You have to end up with the hole in the pants. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And then that's kind of what holds the spine in place. Um, I guess that's kind of anatomically correct for a Lego guy. Um, I kind of don't like it for, for the simple reason that I put this head on now. You have to make sure you're holding the pants. If you just hold the body and you go to it on, it'll just push down on that spine and the pants will pop off and the head won't go on. So you kind of got to hold the legs and then push it on with the legs. Um, it's not too big a deal for me. I'm 37. Uh, if you have a six-year-old putting these together, it's probably going to become a big deal. So uh, that's just a fair warning. Um, but, but anyway, we'll just go for it with that. We've got a couple of Lego guys with this set. We got this guy here. I guess it's a little stewardess yeah, this guy's or something. Away he doesn't want to go that guy's flying away. He looks a little bit like Mary Poppins there. And then I guess this is the pilot. Uh, all right, we had a camera adjustment. Let's see if we can correct that. All right. Okay. So hopefully we didn't lose too many pieces here. And let's let's get going with the next step. We'll see how this guy goes together. Okay, this is the first thing that goes together. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I'm not exactly sure what this thing is. Uh, this thing here, I think it's some sort of light. Light, right? It's a light, it has to go down. Um, I don't know what this thing is. A little step there that moves. This is some sort of tank or something. Um, I don't know. Kind of neat looking, but Maybe it's a lot of things, but I don't know what it is. Hold so there's a cup holder that puts in. That's why it's too. It's a cup holder that puts water in? I don't yeah. think that's it. Um, thank you for that. All right. Um, all right, we'll go on to the next piece, see how that goes. What? 
just stop for a second, show you where we are. Um, it's two seats. I'm not sure what the deal with this is. Okay, so we're done with the little guy. Um, as you can see, this is pretty good. It's a little typical car, I guess. Um, I guess this is kind of like a little, I don't know, a little shuttle thing, I guess, to run people out to the to the helicopter. Um, you know, it's got the standard doors that open on it. It's not too bad. Um, Okay, so I figured I'd stop here and show you what we got so far. Um, this, I don't know, I guess you call this the fuel lodge. It's kind of like the main part of the helicopter. Um, it's going together pretty good. Um, one thing I didn't like is in the instructions, the first thing they had you do was kind of find these pieces here and kind of just lay them all out. And they don't interconnect. They just kind of sit there and you're just supposed to just kind of lay them there next to each other and then the next step is where you're actually using more Legos like these little these little round guys here and then this top long piece up here uh, those are the guys that actually start to hold things together so um, that was a little annoying I, I kind of rather them of I don't know had you put this thing on first and then start clicking other things to it um, it's not too big of a deal but um, it was kind of cumbersome there for a while but, Anyway, this is uh, step two on the, the helicopter part, so we'll get going. Um, here's the thing I had a problem with. These white pieces in here, um, this guy, it's not clear from step three of the instructions that they're supposed to go flush up against the, the chair here. I kind of had them set back a row right around here. And um, I realized that the next step that wasn't right and I couldn't get going. And um, so I had to just kind of pop them up. Um, one thing about these uh, swooping blocks um, as opposed to Legos is I think they stick together pretty well. Um, it's not that they, they don't stay together when you put them together. Um, sometimes they're difficult to pull apart. And these guys here, because it's kind of like a low-profile piece on top of another low-profile piece, they were kind of difficult to pop off. Um, if you've got a six-year-old putting these things together, uh, something like that, I can definitely see might be a little more difficult for them to do. But anyway, we'll keep going to the next section. Okay, I had to take a break there for a second. This um, this hand piece, which is kind of like a spare hand, was somehow jammed inside the hole of this backwards. So the little cup part was all that was accessible. So I kind of had to take a break and, and go operate on this thing with a knife and I was able to get it out. But anyway, it took a bit, I'm back now. Anyway, we'll keep. So we're on step six. I figured I'd take a break here and uh, just kind of show you where we're at. We've got the um, got the two chairs in there. I think those are actually passenger chairs. Um, we've got these guys here. I'm not even quite sure what they are. I guess there's some weights or maybe they hold a landing gear or something. Um, anyway, it's kind of neat. I like the detail on this set so far. The colors seem nice, and uh, it is going together pretty well. Um, the little snafu there I had with the hand, and then I was had a hard time locating the parts for the guys, but um, that was kind of my fault. It's not really the set's fault, obviously. Um, anyway, it's not too bad so far. We'll keep going. Okay, we're on step nine. We're gonna just show you where we're at. Um, 
the sides are um, looking pretty good. Um, the inside's kind of neat. There's a little little table that sits down in between the two seats. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little uh, little like wine glass or a goblet type thing that that sits there on the table. Um, it's coming out kind of nice. There's these little uh, little luggage rack doors. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of neat. There's one of those on each side. I like the color scheme of this, the red against the white with the, the blue, a little bit of yellow mixed in, looks pretty good. All right, we'll keep going. Okay, this I guess is the, uh, it's going to be the top of the helicopter. Um, looking pretty good so far got some neat detail. Um, one thing I didn't like about the instructions is uh, these blocks here and then you can see this like thin gray strung here. The instructions, um, they essentially show them as, as white. Uh, well, I, I guess if you, can, if you compare them against the white pieces, they do look a little darker, but uh, you've really got to be on the lookout for that because uh, it took me a, a little while. I was trying to figure out why I didn't why I didn't have the white pieces that I need to make up that line, and it was because they're supposed to be the gray pieces. Um, but anyway, that's just a little little warning there. Uh, buy one of these sets, and you're going to go put them together, just an FYI. But anyway, we'll keep going. Okay. A little more of the tail done. Um, I should say a little more of the top that includes the tail. Um, I think this actually looks pretty neat. Um, I like this. Um, I don't know if it's coming through well in the uh, video, but I like the contrast of the uh, gray with the white. Um, these gray pieces had the um, kind of like the centerpiece that offsets it a little bit. So this row is kind of like in between where the two rows would normally be, which I think kind of looks neat. The um, the tail piece is nice. I like the stripes and the different colors. Um, I didn't like how this big uh, red piece was attached. Um, there's really only one line of blocks. I don't know if you can see that there. One line of blocks there where it attaches, and then it relies on this top, um, this top gray piece here that goes across um, and holds it on. Well, and then I guess this stabilizes it a little bit more. So, I mean, you do have the three rows there. Um, it doesn't seem too bad. I'd be a little afraid if you if you want to pick the whole helicopter up by the tail here. I, I, don't, I don't know how that would work out. Um, but it doesn't seem too bad. I mean, these sets in general, and, and the Lego sets are the same way. Um, the, you, you, can't, you can't be too rough with them when you're playing with them. Um, I mean, I think that's part of the reason that they, they recommend them for six and up is, um, I mean, there's, there's obviously the, the choking hazard. You, you, you don't want a kid young enough to try to eat these things. But, but at the same time, you, you don't want like a four-year-old, um, you know, playing with them. They're just going to bash them apart. They'll, they'll never be able to assemble them anyway. But um, anyway, this guy, uh, this guy looks pretty good. Um, I like the little, I don't know, I guess these are like little jet engine type things. Um, they're kind of neat. Anyway, we'll keep going. So, we're coming together here. Um, basically just attached the top part to the bottom part. Um, I don't know if you saw my airplane video, but this thing is, is quite similar. This whole top piece here only attaches up here with two connections, and then back here at the very end with two connections. Um, so it's it's not bad. Um, I think it's kind of nice. Um, I, the intention of it is that you should be able to pop this guy off and not really be able to take the rest of it apart. Um, that way you can guys it and out or, or play with it on the inside, um, which is kind of neat. Um, if you saw my truck video, the uh, truck trailer is the same way. The, the little containers on the back you can take on and off pretty easily. 
Um, for the truck video, I undid it. I, I kind of modified the design a little bit so that it, it stayed on better. But these guys, um, I kind of like that with this one. Even though it's only the four connections, it's still it's still pretty sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's going to pop apart or anything like that. I think you'd be able to play with this and not worry about this top part coming off. So um, I wouldn't bother trying to play with the design or, or tweak anything with this. But um, I think it looks really good so far. I'm actually I'm actually pretty happy with this thing. Um, kind of had a rough go there in the beginning, and I was not liking it so much. But right now, it's um, I think it looks pretty neat. So I'll keep going. Okay, so we'll show you this guy here. Um, the wheels on this set aren't bad. They're the, um, the smaller plastic wheels. These guys um, sit a little more true than the bigger uh, rubber wheels in the other sets. These ones, they're not quite as good as I would like. These ones in particular here are kind of wobbly. I don't, uh, I don't care for that. Um, my biggest complaint, though, is this piece up here. Um, there's a couple of holes down here, and I initially stuck it in up there, um, but uh, it was, I realized later I was supposed to stick it in here. Um, when I stuck the guy in, it wasn't going in quite right, and um, there's another piece that you're supposed to put over the top of the peg once it's in. And when I was playing around with that a little bit, I actually broke the bottom piece. Um, these pieces are kind of, uh, they're kind of, I don't want to say brittle, but they're really stiff. And if you push too hard, they don't really give. They just kind of crack. Um, they actually gave me an extra piece here that was the piece I needed, so there's no harm done there. Um, I don't know if they always give everybody two pieces, or I don't know how it is. These sets always seem to have spares. I don't know if the spares are consistent across sets. I never checked. But um, they had a spare one for this end, so, so that's good. I would have been pretty annoyed if, if I didn't have that. Anyway, we'll keep going. Um, I had another issue here. Uh, I had assembled this incorrectly. Um, these, these landing gear wheels were, were just supposed to plug on. And what the instructions show is the instructions just show this area of the airplane or the, uh, excuse me, the helicopter. They just show this tiny little section of it and then they show you putting the wheels on it. And I grabbed a Lego, or excuse me, a block that was that, was that size and stuck the landing gears onto that. Then I took the whole thing and, and stuck it onto the, uh, to the helicopter. Um, I've kind of been bitten by that before. I'll just show you a picture of it here. So you can see there at the bottom there, they, they kind of show this gray piece here. Where am I going? There. They show this gray piece there, and they show the landing gears kind of going onto it. Um, that piece is not a, um, that's not a new piece. That's the bottom of the copter. So that is not at all clear. Um, I guess, I guess if you look in hindsight, let me see if I can get this thing to focus. Um, you can see that this whole window here has these down arrows that, that point to these guys. So, so maybe, that, maybe that makes it a little more clear in hindsight. But um, I saw that and I looked at that page and I did not come to that conclusion. So uh, draw from that what you will. Um, might say more about me than the instructions. But anyway, I'm going to keep going forward. Um, before I... Um, well, it's probably a good idea to talk about this. Before I, I cover this guy up um, much more, let me just pop this guy in here. There's a neat little, um, uh, let me see here. I'm having a problem with the camera focusing. There you go. This neat little, like, control panel area here. It's got these little, like, uh, levers and knobs that the uh, pilot can, can turn. So it's kind of neat. It's a neat little detail to put in there. Um, uh, it's not quite as many controls and gauges as you typically see in a real helicopter, but um, for a Slubin building block helicopter, I think it's pretty good. Um, anyway. All 
Okay. I think we're done with the assembly. Um, it's all together. Um, this thing went together pretty easily. The, um, I don't know if you call this the rotor or the blades or, or what this is. Um, it spins kind of nice. That's good. Um, it doesn't have great uh, alignment. It's kind of wobbly up here. I don't really care for that. Um, I don't know if it's such a big deal. There might be um, there might be some things I can do to to firm that up a little bit. I'll have to think about it. Maybe I'll put an appendix to this video if I come up with something good. Um, went pretty good. Um, the wheels I'm not super happy about. They're kind of wobbly. Um, the balance of it seems to be. It's weighted a little bit towards the back. If you tip it back, it kind of just wants to do that. Um, that I'm not super excited about. Maybe I can just adjust the position of these wheels a little bit and see if, um, if that can kind of help it out a little bit. Okay, so that's a little better. I, uh, I pretty much just took these wheels and slipped them back a little bit. Uh, I needed some little two-piece job in there to, uh, to give it a firm surface to sit on. But I happen to have those extras. I don't know. I may even have put it together wrong. Um, the instructions on this particular set were kind of difficult to follow. It's kind of, um, it's kind of funny because I, I've been reading a lot of reviews of these, um, strangely enough, on different international sites. You don't find much uh, people talking about these things here in the US. These Slubin sets in general, they seem to be very popular in Europe and Asia. Um, you don't see them much at all in the US. Um, I'm not really sure why that is. I think they're kind of neat sets. They're way cheaper than Legos. Um, like I said in the beginning, they're, they're probably not 100% of the quality of Legos. I mean, I would probably put them at 80%, maybe 90 um, and that's in terms of the blocks themselves. I had, I had read about people complaining that the instructions were difficult to follow. And I've put together maybe, I don't know, 10 of these sets so far. Maybe maybe um, maybe even more than that. Um, and uh, this is the first time I really had a difficult time with the instructions. Uh, a, it was just a couple of points where it wasn't that they were misleading. It was just that um, they didn't emphasize the detail they should have in order for you to put it together correctly the first time. Um, I will say that, you know, if you're going to buy this for your six-year-old and you think, okay, I'll just throw it to them and, um, the, you know, they'll put it together and occupy themselves, uh, that might not work out so well. You might want to plan on having to uh, get involved if they're going to build this guy. But all in all, now that it's together, um, I, think it's, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I'm, I really like the color scheme of it. I think the amount of detail on it is kind of nice. Um, the tail and the top part here, I really like, especially. Um, I think it's a pretty good set. I think it's pretty good. It's a pretty good bang for the buck. I mean, if you can get these things for around 19 bucks or 20 bucks, I paid more than that. I bought this off of somebody else that was selling it. I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten a shipment of these yet for my for my store, but um, it looks pretty good. I like it, and um, hopefully it'll sell well. Um, I guess if you wanted to summarize the good and the bad with this, I would say that the um, the assembled product looks great. I like the colors of it. I think it goes together well once it's together. Um, the negatives of it, um, or the uh, the wobbliness of this guy here, I did not like that. The wheels here, typically these wheels, uh, the shorter, stiffer ones from the Slubin sets, are the better the better kind. These particular ones don't seem so well. They're, they're, they're more wobbly than I would like. They spin well, though, and, and it's not like they're going to come off. So there's no real negative there. That's just kind of a like a fit and finish is kind of poor on that. Um, and then the last thing, I guess, would be the instructions. The instructions uh, in this, this set in particular were kind of difficult to follow. Um, not only was there a couple of spots where it was difficult to understand um, exactly what I was supposed to do, but there was a couple of sections where I could distinguish between these lighter gray pieces and the white pieces. And I spent a lot of time 
looking for uh, white pieces that I didn't have because I should have been looking at the gray pieces. Um, anyway, I guess that's it for this set. It's kind of nice. I like this guy. Um, let me see if I can set up the scene that's on the box and uh, we'll call it a day for that one. Okay, so there's the little scene. A little helicopter game. He's the pilot. Going to take us where we need to go. This guy here is handling the uh, handling the I don't know I guess the shuttle cart or whatever you call that thing. This guy over here is. I don't know what he's doing. He's got a little computer type thing with a tank. That looks kind of scary. And, uh, well, it's kind of where we're at. Give me another three dimensional. Take a look at the back. Moink. Get a good view of it. All right. Call it a day.